Russell didn't deserve to lose. Oh, for Christ's sake. There's nobody who deserved to lose more than the damn idiot who's had opportunities to play who still doesn't understand the point of the game. <laughs>
uh, that didn't get chosen for winners that should have. I was going to do a two-part series. I still, I'm still going to do that. Two-part series, top nine that I believe should have gotten chosen but didn't. And then the bottom nine or to the 18, the ones that probably shouldn't have got um, picked at all. I was going to go in depth with that. I ain't going to go any further with that, but I did want to tell you, spoiler alert, my number one was Richard Hatch, that I would like to see him play again. Now, I've never had any problems with Richard. I've never had any problems with him. I I don't know why. Why is he so bitter? I don't know why he's so bitter. Is it because someone became a different level? People are saying, you can't compete with these these people. Yeah, I do consider myself an OG, but he's an original OG, right? I played in season 19. When I played in 19, I did say publicly that he couldn't play with us. I still think he can't play. He can't play with us. Even though I'm I'm the, the back end of the OG, he's the original OG. Now, I wrote some things down. See how unprofessional I am? I just had to, I had to talk about this. I have to get it out. I even give him credit. I, I mean, I, I, his credits, whoever did that for him, I put it there. I didn't cut that out. I put it there. You can see that. Go to his channel and check it out. Go subscribe. I don't, it's no big deal to me. I, I want all the survivors that have YouTube channels. It only helps me. I got 12,000 subscribers. I'm getting more and more. Now, I want to go ahead and just get into this because I could ramble on and on. Uh, so... So immediately he says, the people are stupid. He's talking about you guys. You guys that he wants to subscribe. You guys that say, this is Survivor. You, ultimately, I want to have more people than Survivor watching this channel. But ultimately, this is reality TV. This is Survivor fans that watch this. Survivor fans that say, he can't play. He can't play with, with the original. I mean... His best move was creating alliances. Like, who wouldn't create an alliance? Is that really a good, great move? That's another debate. I've always debated that it wasn't. That any super good players nowadays, including including Sandra, Sandra, Rob, any one of them, would create an alliance. They won. Who wouldn't do that? He says that people say uh, that he can't win. I just said he can't win. Richard Hatch cannot win that game. He's delusional. He, he said he has a really, really, really good shot at winning. If I played, I know I don't have a really, really, really good shot at winning. I know I have an uphill battle. And I'm going to fight every step of the way. But I know it's going to be tough. Richard is delusional. Straight delusional. He says that Jeff has no idea how to play the game. Jeff, he's talking about Jeff Probst, right? Let me tell you something. Jeff is one of the best, is the best host. Not one of the best. He's the best host in reality TV history. And he just, he don't just host. Jeff is playing the game. He'll say he's not, but he's playing the game. He plays with the extreme personalities. The biggest and strongest personalities in the world or in the United States and he makes them tell him what he wants them to say and they say it he can drive that game from sitting where he's sitting Richard and he does it all the time Jeff could 100% play that game also I want to apologize for Richard and I'm not a kisser I'm not going to cuss because I want this to be monetized but you know what i mean and but i'll tell you this uh you need to apologize to jeff and i'll apologize for you because i want you to play i want you to come out if i play in legends i want you need to make that happen jeff because everything he just said is craziness he would have a huge problem with me right off the bat and he wouldn't know what to do. He would freak out. He, he could not contain me. Then he would understand. 
how tough it is to play with the with the newer OGs like me. So, I, I you know, I, I don't want to talk too, too much about this. It's just crazy to me that, um, that all of a sudden he's throwing my name under the bus, that I'm an idiot, and that think that I can win. I still don't know that, I still don't know. Uh, I know my mistakes. You better believe. I know my mistakes, and you better believe if I ever get a chance to play that game again, I will fix those mistakes. I know why I didn't win. I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you my whole strategic strategy of going back in and playing the game, but I have a plan. I'm not just going to go in there and cuddle with the per first pretty girl and take that pretty girl all the way to the end. You think I'm going to do that? Well, guess what? People like Rob came at me in Heroes and Villains. Now I'm talking directly to Richard. He's watching this now. Rob came at me. You think he's a good player? I took him out. JT came at me. Well, he didn't really come at me. I just get, made, made me give him... Uh, I made him give me his idol. Hmm? I took him out. Tyson came at me. He's a great player. All of them are great players. I took him out. Laura came at me. I took her out. Monica came at me. I took her out. That was just dumb moves. Just me being stupid and working my way to the end. Oh, he should have been nicer. If I would have been nicer, would I have get to would I have gotten to the end? If I would have been nicer, would I even be sitting in the final three? That's the question. No, I wouldn't. You can either will yourself to the end, and you might not get the votes, and you might. Like Tony. Tony wheeled himself to the end. He won. Or you can be dr 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 drugged to the end, get dragged all the way to the end. You could win like that. Then you called a great player. You could do absolutely nothing in that game. All of a sudden, you're in, sitting in the... The final three with a bitter jury, bam, you're the winner of the survivor. You deserve that win. You do deserve the win. You just won. But does that make you the best player? Does the best team always win the Super Bowl? I believe this year they did. Does the best player always win survivor? No. Now, I'll, I'll stick to that story for the rest of my life. I had a chance to sit back and reflect, trust me. And I'll still say the best player of Survivor sometimes doesn't win. I still believe there's a flaw in the game. All right, I'm not gonna take too much of your time. I just wanted to, for some reason, it just cut me off. I'm probably recording too much. But <clears throat> if you want to listen to my podcast, uh, check out the description below. Uh, I have a now I have a T-shirt thing that I go go check it out. Even if you don't buy, I think that you'll find it uh, pretty humorous. Uh, check it out. I'll have it in the description below. Uh, subscribe, press that button, uh, that 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 bell, so you can uh, get notified when these things drop. Like right now, it's twelve o'clock at night. I'm dropping one in about another hour or two. So that's it. Keep hope alive.